What is up out there, Poker News fam? I am with the one, the only, the man that is Tony Burns. TD Tony B here live from the Rio All Suite Hotel and Casino at the World Series of Poker 2019. Now, first of all, Tony Burns, let's just get this right out of the way. I've been following your IG, mm -hmm. and it seems like you're, all of a sudden, you're the super, first of all, you didn't win the GPI award, which I don't know how that's possible, because it kind of seems like you're the superstar of the World Series of Poker 2019. What's going on? You know, uh, we're just uh, out here promoting the upcoming Seminole Hard Rock Poker Open starts on August 1st. And, uh, you know, through the years of being at Hard Rock, this will be your number four for me. Uh, you know, we've met uh, a lot of interesting people in the business uh, and a lot of good people in the business. And, you know, uh, got the opportunity on July 4th. This is actually the first, uh, it was the first 4th of July that I spent away from my family and uh, got to know Randall uh, Emmett a little bit. And he was like, hey, what are you doing 4th of July? I'm like, no plans. He's like, over at the Palms, why don't you come over, we'll watch the fireworks from Penthouse Suite, and go have some dinner, and got to meet Lala. Lala, yeah. my girl. Okay, so like, tell me, what's the juicy gossip on Lala? Is she still not working, or drinking? Uh, yeah, she said uh, no drinking now for 10 months, and you know, she uh, went to dinner, and we, we had a great conversation, uh, both at the Palms and at dinner, and uh, really uh, excited to get to know them. They're, they're getting married in April, I think April 18th, they said. Got the invite to the wedding, too. So who's your plus one? My wife, of course. What? Oh, my gosh. Okay, <laughs> fine. So does he come play in Florida? Uh, he did. He does. Uh, he's come to the last few series. Uh, he bought ice cream for everybody, so that's kind of turning into his trademark thing. So. What's up, Dylan? Also, what's up, William Kasuf? I haven't seen you in ages. It feels like it's good to see you on board and Jimmy Jam. Um, all right, so let's talk. First of all, I've seen a lot. Also, you were on Drew Amato's profile of the day, and I've noticed just sitting here with you for ten minutes. You've got this booth. What's up, Ruth? By the way, you've got this booth going on right in the hallway of the Rio, and it seems like this is kind of the stopping point for all of the players right after they bust the main event. And that seems like a tough job. Like, I feel, I feel that you're kind of in the position of potentially being sort of a therapist. Uh, yeah, it's kind of the comfort table. It's the information table. It's a where am I going, where am I registering table. Uh, but most importantly, it's, you know, about promoting the Seminole Hard Rock brand, talking about the three poker rooms we have in the state of Florida. Uh, obviously, I work at the Hollywood property, so, you know, hometown. Uh, but a lot of great things going on between all the properties. You know, we run those four majors a year. Seminole Hard Rock Poker Open coming up. Uh, the big expansion coming up. Uh, WSOP circuit events uh, coming up at Coconut Creek in September. Uh, Tampa's getting their first WSOP circuit in February 2020. Uh, after they open up their uh, expansion, they're going to get a brand new ballroom. So a lot of things going on across the board for the Seminole Hard Rock poker brand. Wow. Okay. So, well, of course, we have to catch up. We started to talk about all of this, I'd say, 2018 World Series of Poker. Let's catch up on my guitar-shaped hotel. The guitar. It's, uh, it's almost done. How far? What are we talking We're here? talking October 24th, grand opening. Uh, you can start booking your hotel rooms in the new guitar on July 24th. So you can go on to, uh, I believe it's Seminole Hard Rock, Hollywood.com. Uh, go on to the reservations. You can book uh, your uh, rooms for the new guitar there. You can go to SHRPO.com to book your hotel room rates for the upcoming SHRPO series. Uh, series 139 during the week, 189 on the weekend. And Maroon 5 as the opening act in the brand new Hard Rock Live uh, on that following Friday. So it's legit for sure gonna open because I feel like there's always these like tentative opening days and then like very rarely does that actually happen. No, they said rain or shine uh, October 24th. Uh, I think, you know, we have the hurricane season in Florida. So I think it was a date they felt comfortable with. So uh, yeah, the paparazzi. So famous. <laughs> TD Tony B, I'm telling you guys. He's basically no, Lala Kent. No, that's, this one's you. <laughs> Just a quick pause, you know. That one will be way better than yeah. the one that was just I, I you. Who are they? Paparazzi. Your, your, your piece from... They what? work for 888. Okay. Um, all right, so let's talk about what's going down in... It's August, right? August 4th. August 1st. First. First, August 1. Wow, okay. So I think this is actually fantastic because what tends to happen is basically post WSOP, which this year is earlier than a lot of years past, right? So July 17th, you're going home. Everybody's going home, even if you won the main event, even if you win the 10K 6 Max, you're going home July 17th. So 
people have a couple weeks to take a break, decompress, mm -hmm. get that WSOP out of their lives, and then what are you guys offering August 1st? What's happening? So we're opening up with a $600 buy-in, $1 million guarantee. That's what I'm talking about. That's right. in my that, wheelhouse. That's, that's the price point. That's that's the sweet spot. Uh, 20 total events. Uh, the Big Four is coming back with Poker Night in America. Uh, this is year number five. So great concept, uh, you know, four final tables playing down into the same room. Uh, the 52-50 championship with a $3 million guarantee. Uh, the 26-50 with a single reentry, which everybody, you know, they've been talking about wanting to get uh, away from unlimited reentry. So that has a single reentry. An $1,100, we've got to give the unlimited reentry. So that'll have unlimited and the 25K high roller uh, with a $2 million guarantee. So all those playing down to a final table inside uh, the event center going to uh, uh, kick off on August the 9th. So two starting days, Friday and Saturday, uh, two uh, bullets max for the, for the main. So, you know, we get it, people coming across the country, coming across uh, the pond, you know, they want to, uh, they don't want to come up for a freeze out. So I think it's a good compromise, two max bullets. So you can do two on day one A, two on day one B if you can't make it until Saturday. Or one and one. Okay, so that's actually an interesting point which I was going to ask you about. So when I spoke to Rob Young a week or so ago, there was a lot of conversation about how to address both the issue of people wanting freeze outs or wanting to go back to this format, but also wanting to appease the people who come spend tons of money to come somewhere and still need something to play. It seems like your guys' schedule is meeting a vast array of budgetary or bankroll needs anyways. And so in terms of the re-entry versus the freeze outs you guys are kind of like sprinkling some a few different variations all throughout the the tournaments to give everybody a chance yeah you have to do that i mean you know it's it's more than just one event you know you want to have a successful series and that's what you know uh, you you know want to spread out uh, you know people that come for two weeks you know i can't imagine here at the wsop people that run the full gauntlet you know you want to uh you know it's a, it's a sensitive ecosystem so Listen to the players. You got to listen to what everybody wants, and that's you know some of the things that players want. I spoke to Dan Shack about our 50k. We all, we also have a fifty thousand dollar buy-in on uh, August the eighth, and you know he said, look, you know, it'd be really nice if you know your your high roller will be a single re-entry. So you know we listened to the players, and uh, we just did that. Uh, that that event has a one million dollar guarantee, and the night before we're gonna have our Jeff Conine celebrity uh, charity event coming back. Almost four hundred entries last year, uh, raising money for the Joe DiMaggio's Children's Hospital. So if I smoke bomb on, hey, so if I smoke bomb on Poker News, you're going to bring me out for that, right? Come on out. Well, I'm on I Poker News right now. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's talk a little bit about, obviously, the, the low buy-in events this summer at the WSOP have been totally crazy. Everybody has been, I mean, I think numbers have been far exceeded the expectations, even though I think everybody expected that this was going to be, um, that this was going to be huge, right? So... Does that change anything for you guys, or have you really, you feel like you've already been meeting that demand for a long time, and it's like about time the World Series caught up? Well, you know, that, the price point, you know, of some of these smaller events, that, that's kind of our sweet spot, and that's why we've been out here for the last four summers, uh, you know, especially during the opening event like Colossus. Um, those players, those grassroots players, those are, those are pretty much the, the heart of the Seminole Hard Rock Poker brand. I mean, yes, we do get the pros. Um, and we run buy-ins, I tell people, we run buy-ins from $150 all the way up to 50000 So we have something for everybody. It's a great mix of recreational players uh, and professionals that come down. The property's amazing. Once, like I said, once we get this new expansion going, uh, I can only imagine what it's going to be like uh, for you know our WPT stops um, and, and things to come. Oh, my gosh. And especially in October when, <laughs> when you're trying to get away from everything, I'm saying, like, as soon as this guitar opens... I know exactly where you're going to be able to find Mama. <laughs> well, this has actually been, and of course the numbers are in because play was still open until the beginning of registration for day 2C, but even the unofficial numbers, this is the second largest tournament in WSOP history, which is so crazy. And I have to say, look, the numbers had dwindled a few years, then a few years they got a little bit more, but as someone in the poker industry, what do you, what do you make of this whole thing? You know, I think the WSOP, I spoke to Jack this morning, um, you know, congratulate him on some Shout out, Jack. Numbers. Yeah, no, absolutely, Jack. You know, he's uh, constantly in the hallways, walking back and forth. Uh, you know, he's got a great group of people here that, um, you know, they, they put on an amazing show. I mean, operationally, I can only imagine. We have 90 tables, um, but to have over 500 tables, um, you know, opening up areas that, you know, when you need space, you need space, and you got to do what you got to do. And, you know, I tell the players that, you know, 
I had to wait in line or I had to do this, I had to do that. I said, look, guys, you just participated. This, the Big 50 was you know, the biggest poker tournament in history, which the winner uh, came out of Florida. Uh, shout out to Femi. Uh, he plays the Seminole Hard Rock uh, poker events. So uh, Florida's had an amazing summer. Um, Howard Mash, uh, who plays at Coconut Creek in, in our place, uh, he won the seniors event. And he uh, wore his Seminole Hard Rock hat. Uh, got him all the way there. So I think he has a hat for life there. Oh, my gosh. Also, can we talk a little bit about this Coconut Creek? You keep saying this, and I don't know what it is, but it sounds like something I could get into. So it's a Seminole property that's about 20 minutes uh, north of Hollywood. Um, it's not a hard rock ram, but it's owned by the Seminole Tribe of Florida. Uh, beautiful property as well, uh, you know, with table games and poker, uh, slots, uh, great amenities there as well. Uh, they run WSOP circuit events. They've been doing it for the last couple of years. So great turnouts. Uh, they've been hosting them in February and September. Uh, the next one coming up in September. So September 19th, if you want to come down to Florida, um, after you want to make a little swing, you want to spend a couple months in Florida, uh, there's there's plenty of po uh, plenty of poker in Florida, and that's why I think a lot of people are migrating down that way. Because on top of our four stops, you have the two Coconut Creek uh, circuit events. Now you have one in Tampa. Tampa's going to probably come on board with some bigger events as well. So the cash games in Florida, Tampa just got a brand new poker room uh, two years ago, and then we're going to have a brand new poker room with 45 tables. So uh, poker is alive and well in Florida. Oh, it's so great. And also, uh, your boy, Russell Martin, is going to be there. Nice. So, good for him. Um, and mm -hmm. I very briefly want to say also that Poker News just signed a three-year contract with the World Series of Poker Circuit. So, Poker News will also be there covering the action, live reporting. So, as those tournaments are playing down, you guys can get your hands, your chip counts. You guys can follow all your favorite favorite people um, in the industry. And, We're yeah. We have a hat. Yes, we're giving away hats to people. Yes, hats. Uh oh. Whoa. No, it's okay. That's okay. fine. You can take that one. Yeah. Okay. It's right. still balanced. We made it. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, no, you're no, fine. Can I have a bag? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, that's good, anyone, anyways. It's fine. So Thank we're here. You. If you guys want to meet CD Tony V, you know, too, you're right? leaving. You. When are you leaving? I am actually leaving tomorrow. Tonight's the last day. Uh, for, today's the last day for the booth. So if you haven't got by, stop by, pick up some swag. Uh, limited supply. What's here on the table? It's got to go. It's got to go. Can't come back to Florida. And people are hot for these hats. I'm not going to lie, guys. Know, people they... will be coming by, like, trying to get three hats. I know. It's like one it's at a time. Police, like, geez, guys, pump the brakes. Don't be greedy. <laughs> um, but if you guys want to stop by the booth today, stop by the booth today. Meet TD Tony B. Have a, have a little chat with him. Chat his ear off. If you do happen to bust the WSP main event and you're not sure where to go or what to do, I know a good therapist. <laughs> Dr. Tony Burns is just sitting here right across from the bathroom, so he's completely available uh, no matter what, what your point is. And we're going to have to probably... Uh, call it quits because this hallway is about to explode and I for one don't really want to hear any more bad beat stories I don't know. I think I'll leave that to I'll, you. I'll, I'll take care of that. For okay. You. Thanks the, ba I the baby the baby doesn't want to hear it. No, mama don't want to hear it either. Let's get serious Deuces